The spectacular plastic art of Bob Rindler. Next. Cape Cast. So Bob, this is fantastic. Uh, tell us a little bit about what we're looking at. Well, it's a collection of plastic stuff. It's okay to call it stuff, that's what I call it. It's basically the rejected items from people who live on the Outer Cape. The plastic stuff that we buy, for whatever reason, is designed and made to be discarded and um, used for a short period of time. And so it ends up in our landfill and our oceans, and I was really very interested in saving it from those situations and seeing if I could take something that was very ordinary, very common, and make something beautiful and exciting out of it. So the idea was to, you know, with the use of color and the combination of color to really make it intense. Talk about collecting this stuff uh, from the transfer stations of the Outer Cape. It, it is a bit of OCD. I mean, I, uh, I certainly have a, a bit of obsessive compulsiveness. I, I say to people that, uh, uh, um, you know, it was a way to turn my OCD into a certifiable administrative and then art career. So, Bob, we're here at the Found Boys, one of the most mind-blowing installations in the history of plastic and maybe beyond. <laughs> Tell us about this. How many of these things are here? There's, uh, you know, several thousand of them, uh, upwards maybe of 10,000. And I'm interested in how our society depicts maleness for young boys. These are all toys that boys play with in one way or another, so that whether it's, um, you know, Buzz Lightyear or um, a Smurf or the Tin Man, we grew up as young boys with these I guess, images of maleness that affected us. So this is all about um, as many different, I guess, interpretations of maleness as you can. Cape Cast. 